we're driving the Nissan Y62 Patrol Ti and uh, the Y62 is about to become the only model in the Patrol range now after Nissan just announced they're dropping the two decades old GU Patrol. So we're left with the Y62 which is a pretty good thing, very different to the old Patrol. This is a luxury car almost. It starts at $70,000. This is the base spec TI. There's a TI L above that, but you're not missing much. This has got all the luxury mod cons you want leather seats, climate control, cameras all around, sat nav, all that sort of bling. It rides on full independent suspension, which gives it pretty good travel. It's got a very clever hydraulic body motion control system, which is like active suspension. It stiffens up the shocks on corners to give it. Pretty good handling for a 2.7 tonne car. Um, yet it loosens them off when you're at low speeds off-road, so it gives you good wheel travel. The engine, it's a killer of a thing. It's 300 kilowatts, petrol V8, 560 newton meters, stonking performance. Once again, it's a heavy car, but it goes very well considering with this great V8 engine. It's the only engine in the range. There's no smaller engine, there's no diesel engine, so, you're buying one of these you want to know that you're going to be using a bit more fuel than other people but hey it's worth it it's good fun if you can afford it go for it gearbox is a seven speed automatic it's the only transmission it's got a manual select mode it's got a clever four x four system it's generally an on-demand system you lock it into a locked four wheel drive high range four wheel drive low range it's got some terrain modes for sand and snow and rock driving rear diff lock um, you know, all the features you want. The traction control system works really well. It doesn't want for anything off-road. Just need to keep in mind it is a very big car. Seven seats, um, more room than just about anything else in the market. Although that third row seat isn't as accommodating as some of the others we've found. This new Patrol really is a step up above the, the 20 year old one in, in so many ways. It's got that luxury feel and comfort about it. We're doing tracks that we did a couple of months ago in a GU and it feels like we're in a, a European car. This thing is so much more comfortable, much more spacious inside. It just drives smooth and easy. You're not second guessing its performance at all. The Y62 has been with us for about five years now um, and it's actually been in the world market for seven years. And when it first arrived here, everyone said it was all no good. It was independent suspension. It was. $90,000, um, you know, petrol V8 only. But, and it wasn't selling that well. So yeah, this had to do something about it. So last year they readjusted the product lineup. They also slashed about $20,000 off the price of them. So at 70 grand, it's starting to encourage a lot more buyers in. It's been enticed by the number of features it's got, um, its performance, you know, all those things which were a little bit out of reach before and now suddenly in reach and it's not a bad buy. So if you're looking for a fully loaded four-wheel drive wagon that easily accommodates seven passengers and it's got room behind that third row seat so you can still put a, a, a 40 litre fridge back there, this is probably something you should look at. It's got plenty of space, all the equipment you need, luxury to boot and performance. It's a much more attractive package than it was 18 months ago.